Today's cities have their own kind of surround sound. But what impact does it have on us? Will more e-cars mean less noise and less stress? Personally, I might even miss the sound. For a lot of people, there's an emotional factor. Dafür habe ich gearbeitet für so ein Auto und es macht einfach Spaß, Emotionen. Du schmeißt das Auto an und das ist Gänsehaut. Also für mich ist das wirklich Gänsehaut. Du schmeißt das Ding an, das Auto läuft und denkst, okay, wow, da hast du 610 PS, 10 Zylinder und äh, Sound, das, ist, das begleitet dich hier wirklich vom Starten bis zum Ausmachen. Egal in welcher Position man ist, das Ding ist ja immer präsent. Roaring down the road like this, it's hard to imagine an e-car or hybrid ever producing that kind of thrill. <lacht> es ist immer, wenn es schon so noch so nachbrennt. Ja. Ich dieses liebe dieses Nachbrennen. Was, was löst denn dieses Nachbrennen in dir aus? Dieses Nachbrennen? Boah, das ist einfach ein Glücksgefühl, finde ich. Es ist wirklich so, so bop, 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 dieses, oh, das Auto spricht mit einem. So, so, komm, mach mehr damit, ich habe Bock drauf. <lacht> ne? Tritt nochmal durch oder so, ne? wo das Auto Spaß hat. Ne? So. <lacht> Andre and his brother Sebastian are two real gearheads. They give their cars a new identity, they say, a soul. Can a right sound give you the real racetrack mood? The guys definitely did the trick for me. Oh, it's vibrating! <laughs> I know, so... <laughs> and that's actually a, that's actually a V10 uh, with a 620 horsepower. And um, it has some um, stage V3 with valves open, like super loud. It's only for the racetrack. And, um, for the racetrack? For the racetrack, right? Could you redo it? My entire body's shaking yeah. while you're actually First, hitting the gas. I, I can do it. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> so, and that's what people love about like the old combustion engine. It's just like the sound. V10, it's, I don't know, it's just like, you can't describe it. It's just like it goes through... Um, through your more, body. Yeah, through your body. So if your V10 isn't already loud enough, this is the place for you. But you could also give an e-car the sound of a monster engine, right? What if electric cars had the voice of a V8 or V10 or whatever big engine? They're still not the emotion. Because because is this like kind of fake? It's, it's fake and it's not true. It's not honest. You, the, you're missing out on uh, the vibrations of the, mo of the engine. You're missing out on the, on the feeling, on the, on the gear shifter when you, when, you, when, you, when you put in the gears and you accelerate really, really hard. If you do launch control, uh, the, the, it's, just like a, it's just like a feeling you can't, you can't, some things in life you can't fake. That's so true. So how should the e-cars of the future sound? At speeds over 20 kilometers per hour, the tires are louder than the engine. But is noise something we really need? Also es gibt ganz wenig Leute, die gar keinen Straßenverkehrslärm hören. De facto ist es sogar so, dass der Straßenverkehrslärm die Quelle ist, der die meisten Bundesbürger exponiert sind in einem höheren Maße. Und es sind schon ganz erhebliche Pegel wo es inzwischen auch genug epidemiologische Studien gibt, die zeigen, dass dort äh, in diesem Pegelbereich und drüber durchaus das Risiko für zum Beispiel Herz-Kreislauf-Erkrankungen steigt. Wie hört sich die Zukunft an? Was ist der Sound der Zukunft? Ich finde es schon relativ schwer, in die nahe Zukunft zu gucken, ehrlich gesagt. Das ist ja gerade auch eine spannende Zeit in Bezug auf diese Warnsignale, die von Elektrofahrzeugen äh, abgestrahlt werden müssen, was auch in der EU-Verordnung ja durchaus vorgegeben ist. Und auch da fällt es mir persönlich schon schwer, mir vorzustellen, was das in der Gesamtkomposition zum Beispiel für einen Innenstadtring bedeutet. So will cars be required to have sound? The US and China already have laws with a minimum noise level for electric vehicles. In Europe, all new e-cars from next year will also have to be fitted within an acoustic vehicle alerting system or AVAS, because the sound of silence can also be dangerous. So, how do you fake this future sound? I'm hoping for answers at Audi's sound design factory. I heard you're giving electric cars a voice. How does that work? It, it all starts with building a loop, something that can run continuously without getting noticed to be repeated all the time. The sound is supposed to change 
in every situation from everywhere to everywhere so that the driver has a response from what he's doing. And I think that the customer wants it to sound different because he wants to show that this is, an, this is a different car, this is not a combustion car. In my opinion, it would be wrong to make, a com uh, to make an electric car sound like old cars. That was really interesting, but uh, I would like to move over to some action. Uh, let's do it. Let's do that. So what we prepared here is an electric guitar, a small amplifier. We use an electric drill to just bring some electrical fields. Excuse me, did I get that right? You said electric drill? Yeah, we tried it and we find it very interesting. Let me show you. Okay. So this is an electromagnetic pickup as most of the electric guitars have. Now you listen. This actually really sounds like an electric car. It does a little bit and we can maybe use it together with a lot of other stuff to make it sound as we intended it to be. Can I? Yeah, of course. You said the... This, this is the part where the electric motor is built in. Let's see what you just produced uh, on the computer, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. Turn that up a little more. The next one is coming in. Just to get this right, this is the exact sound we just produced with the equalizer, with the guitar and the electric thrill? It's the one. And I made three of them and I let you listen to all the three together. We are taking a quick detour to the Vintage Car Center Classic Remise in Dusseldorf. It's a trip into another world. Cars were designed to evoke feelings. Each model looked unique and sounded it too. Hi, come in and have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that you like, like cars. Yes, like almost everybody that's working uh, in this place. We're surrounded by especially classic cars, cars that really had a heart and a soul. Every brand had kind of their USP, something that really set them apart from, from, from other cars. Does it make a car special, the engine and the, no the noise of it? Yeah. I remember the 70s and then the 80s when you were standing next to a street, you could tell this was a BMW, this was a Volkswagen, especially a Beetle or a Porsche or a um, Mercedes. They all had different sounds. It was part of the brand image to have a specific sound. I mean, that was the good old days, maybe. I wonder if people will ever get electric vehicles to generate their own sonic identity in the same way. Back to Audi means back to the future. I'm very excited how they transfer my sound in a new EV. Let's find out. Oh, wow. I feel like lost in space. Yes, looks <laughs> like it. This is not an ordinary office. Next, we check out how the sound of the future is installed in the car. So you're actually creating like an identity with the new sound for the e-cars? Yes, and that is something that we think is quite important. We want to give the vehicle a soul. You can, if you look at it, it looks quite sporty and you, when you drive it, you feel the power of the, of the electrical engines. And um, we want to transport this to the sound as well. So we are also trying to transport some Audi DNA into the sound. And um, yeah, we try to have something that you will recognize when you, when you don't see the car, but you already hear it, that you can say, oh, this is an Audi. Can we please listen to my sound? Yes, sure, we can do this. So this is how it might sound when it stands still. You hear um, the roaring. The, the roaring from the electric drill. Yeah. Okay, increase the speed. Well, you hear something, but obviously this is not a complete sound. But there are some things missing. Like what? Sorry. Like I doubt that it will fulfill the law as it is, because the regulations, they demand 
uh, different frequencies and different uh, sound pressure levels at different uh, speeds of the car and you need to tune the sound that it fulfills everything that is required. Not so easy then. The Audi guys have been tinkering away on the sound of the e-tron for almost a year and it's music to my ears. I think in the future the streets will sound differently because right now there are a lot of combustion engines on the street and they all sound similar. Of course a Ferrari sounds different than a Ford or whatever but in the end they all are similar. You have the, the the combustion noise that is um, louder than anything else in the vehicle and in the future we won't have the combustion sounds anymore and we have the artificial sounds. It will be different and it will be very interesting in my opinion to hear how the other um, manufacturers produce their sound. And don't forget, people rely not on their eyes but their ears when crossing the street. We want to give the vehicle a soul. My acoustic journey has come to an end. And as for the car sound of the future? Some things in life you can't fake. Sounds promising.